Okay, so now we've got linear compound and absolute value inequalities. So far, all we've talked about are equalities. Now we're throwing inequalities into the mix. So linear inequalities is any relationship of the form ax plus b is less than zero, if it's less than or equal to zero, greater than zero, or greater than or equal to zero. You'll notice that we have or equal to when our inequality sign has the line underneath it, right? So that's just the combination of the equal sign and the inequality sign fused together. So with inequalities means that we're going to have typically more than one numerical answer. Actually, we're really going to have infinite solutions typically for uh, inequality. So there are lots of different ways to write them. So to solve an inequality in one variable means to determine all of the values that make the inequality true upon replacement of the variable. The collection of solutions is called the solution set. There are several methods for indicating the solution set for an inequality. We've got, oh gosh, excuse me, that yawn stuck up on me. Hmm. We've got algebraic, graphical, set builder or solution set, and interval notation. For the homework, your go-to is interval notation, so pay close attention to that one. Not to say the others aren't important, they are just as important, but interval notation is kind of the go-to notation. So some examples. So up first, um, let's say I've got something very simple, We um, just the simple inequalities, like two is greater than X, maybe three is greater than or less than X, Next, let's say two is less than, oh, so yeah, two is less than x or x is greater than two. And let's say, I don't know, three is less than or equal to x. All right, so this are all the ways for the algebraic. Oops, ick. So this is probably what you're most familiar with. So when you solve for an inequality, this is going to be what you end up with, some form of this, right? A number is less than or equal to, greater than, blah, 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 the next, right? So this is what you're used to. Next up, we're gonna talk about graphical. Graphical is for all my visual learners out there. So we've got a number line. We're gonna put two on that line. Now we recognize that this is not inclusive, right? So it's strictly greater than, or X is less than, excuse me. So I'm gonna do the open circle, and then since two is greater than X, or X is less than two, because I don't, I don't know about you, but back when I was taught inequalities, um, my instructor taught me the alligator, right? Y'all familiar with the alligator? The alligator's hungry, so it wants to eat the bigger thing, right? It needs to fill its tummy. So if you're not sure what's greater than, what's less than, just think of the alligator. So here, 2 is greater than x because my alligator is open to 2. That's the alligator eating. Okay, anyways. So x is less than 2, so we're going to shade to the left. So now the difference is if I tack on that equal to, great, like three is greater than or equal to x, or x is less than or equal to three, we're gonna fill in the circle, but we're still going to scribble to the left because x is less than or equal to three. Here, so maybe, well, I don't wanna confuse you. So now let's keep going, number line, Slap down two, open or close circle, open. Now two is less than x, or the alligator is eating the x, so all the numbers that are greater than two are what we wanna eat, so we shade to the right. And then number line, notate three. Compared to the last one we just did, what's really the only difference? we fill in the circle and we shade to the right because three is less than or equal to X. 
or x is greater than or equal to 3. So again, if you like this visual, don't forget it's also x is less than 2, x is less than or equal to 3, x is greater than 2, or x is greater than or equal to 3, if you prefer that visual. But either way, notice the alligator is still facing the same thing, whether it's the x or the number. Okay. Now I'm actually going to switch to interval because set builder and solution set is the newest and it's probably going to be the most wonky for you. So I want to kind of save that for last so I don't pull the rug out from under you. All right. So interval form is just the, the grouping of graphical. So interval if x is less than 2 or 2 is greater than x, then I'm going to have basically all, I'm going to represent this whole shaded area right here. So that would be negative infinity to 2 with the parenthesis. Because remember, parenthesis in open circle means not including, right? Not including. So if x is less than or equal to 3, We've still got from negative infinity to three, but now the difference is a bracket. Bracket means inclusive or the filled in circle, right? We can be three, but over here, we could be 1.9999999999 on forever, but we can never be two. So over here, real quick, remember, if it's a parenthesis or an open circle, this means not including. Okay. But if it's a bracket or a filled in circle, this means including. Okay, so back to here. So now x is greater than 2 or 2 is less than x. Remember, we're just going to represent the filled in area. So is two, two is an open circle, so is that a parenthesis or a bracket? Parenthesis, two, and now we go off to infinity because it has the arrow, we go on and on and on and on and on and on forever. And then basically for the last one, what's the only difference from what we have here? Oops, excuse me, positive three, but with a bracket to infinity. So whenever you see interval notation, one thing I want you to note, let's see, for interval, interval, there we go, notation. For interval notation, you'll see A to B, but remember, this is X1 to X2, not a point. Okay, not x comma y. It's an interval from x1 to x2, right? So you think of you're on the number line. If you want to get technical with me, right? If you want, if you want to skip to chapter two, talk about two variable linear equations. We're talking from like x1 to x2, maybe. So something like that, perhaps. Right, so interval notation is A to B, X1 to X2. It's not a point X to Y. Students get mixed up with this all the time, which is understandable because it's the same thing, right? Number, comma, number. But just pay attention to the details, right? That'll make or break you in this class is if you're paying attention to the details. All right, so last one, uh, set builder. Set builder slash solution set. So this is the most, I would say this is the most collegiate or newest at least. So we've got a brace because remember that's what we put sets into. All values of x such that x is less than 2. Okay, or 2 is less than x. Either version is totally fine. So let me read that again. It's all values of x 
such that x is less than 2. So this bar right here, I mean really math has its own written language, is such that, okay? So all values of x such that x is less than or equal to 2. This x right here, in my, I guess, opinion, the way I want to explain it, is that this just sets the variable, like this is the thing that's changing. So if it's a t, then it would be all values of t such that t is less than 2, whatever the rule is. All right, so what do you think we have here? Brace, x, the bar, x is less than or equal to 3. So it's kind of a melding of algebraic with what I've already shown you about sets. So what do you think we have here? It's brace x bar x is greater than 2. So this is red. All values of x such that x is greater than 2, right? So that's another representation of interval notation, or excuse me, of the graphical. And last but not least, all values of x such that x is greater than or equal to 3.